Films. Today's video is on how I edit my music videos. Now today's gonna be a little bit of a long video, but it'll be very informative. So stick around to see the end. Give you a heads up of what we're going over. We're gonna go over how I line up my clip, how I label them, how I add B-roll, and then also how I cut it down to the beat. Of course not in that order, because I said it all backwards. So it is what it is. So let's get started, guys. Okay, now that we're in the computer, what I first do is I go through all the footage and label each performance, which performance they are. So performance one, two, three, and four. Just so I know to separate my B-roll and performances. So after we rename all the clips, which all you gotta do is right click and then go to rename right here. And then that's just how you name them. So now that we got the audio and the timeline, we're gonna go to performance one, listen to it. Well, first let's go to the timeline, listen to the audio. All right, we're gonna use R in the RIP, and that's what we're gonna line the clip with. So let me go back, we'll make sure it's precise. So scrub through. All right, now we're just gonna add a marker on the audio. As you can see, it's right here at the bottom. So now we're gonna go to this. We're gonna go to the footage right here, scrub through. Now we're li listening for that R. There we go. Now we're gonna line it up. So now you're gonna line your audio with this. Let's see. All right, perfect, got it. Now let's shrink it. You see we got a long end, so that's just useless right there. Shrink it back. Now performance two. Listen to this. Too far forward. Let's go. All right, well, apparently I was talking too many times, so we're just gonna. Right there. <laughs> I hear it in the background. All right, let's see if I got this right. There we go, got that. Now, performance three. Let's scrub through it. Sorry about my computer running slow. This recorder's slowing it down a little bit. Alright, scrub back. Hear that R. There we go. Place it on the timeline, play it, make sure it's correct. Yeah, got that. Now performance four. All right. Go back a little bit. Here we go. As you can tell, my composition is way off right here tight spots all right let's see right here we got it correct they don't want to see me do it. there we go okay now as you can see in the beginning this is i always use that for intro b-roll and then you got outro b-roll and then throughout it you know you place b-roll where it needs to be so we're going to get down to cutting it so I'll play it I'll before we get down to cutting, hit C on your keyboard for cut. Let me cut this out. All I need is just one. I'm turning these off so my computer don't run slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut to the beat. So what I like to do is I like to drag this out so I can really see the audio really well. So right here. Cut. 
Let me drag it a little bit more over. So you hear that? Right here. Boom. Cut. Boom. Cut. Now you can cut to whatever beat you want. The top hats, you know. You can cut to rever reverb if you want, but um, it's all just your decision on how the flow of the beat goes. The most important part is just go with the flow. Right here, cut. Right here, cut. And then cut. And you're just going to do this all the way through and then pick out what scenes you want. So I go starting out with this scene. Get rid of that. This also, this clip's going to need warp stabilizations. But there we go. Cut back. And then I'm just doing this random. This is just an example. Normally, I normally go through it all very carefully, but just so this video is not too long and boring, we're just gonna do it quick. And that composition's off on that clip. So maybe I'll bring this back. Play it. Yeah, it's playing slow with the screen recorder. There we go. Well, you get the gist of it. That's it. I mean, I'll edit through the whole thing. Cut, 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 cut all the way through. And then after I do that, I pick each part of it. So, you know, take out a clip, add a clip, take out a clip, all that. Once you do all that, then comes the B-roll. So first thing I would do anytime I edit is I'm going to do the intro first because I have a separate shot mapped out for that. So let's see if we can find the four wheeler shot. Go here. Let's play it and see what we got. Okay, you see that right now it's playing at the full frame rate. We want to slow it down. I shot it at 120 frames per second. So let me show you how to slow it down the correct way. Instead of going through your timeline, going to speed duration and everything, you might get some skip frames. So go to your actual clip right click then go to modify interpret footage and then assume this frame rate 24 frames and then hit ok and now it's slowed down and you get that smoothness so as you can see right here slow so figure out what shot I want to use too far too far like up close I don't know. there we go so we'll just use this we'll just for the sake of it. And then boom, place it in here. Go to the clip and then you're gonna right click it and then scale to frame size because we're on a 4K timeline and this is 1080. Boom, then you got your B-roll. So I'm gonna do one more example, throw some B-roll in the beginning of the uh, verse. So I'm just gonna put something random. Let's see. So we're gonna go to this. Now we're gonna go to modify, interpret footage, assume this frame rate, 24 frames per second. Okay. Now check this out. Let me scrub through. So right here, I wanna use it. As he's coming out. You hear me talking, directing him. JV looking fresh. Okay, we're gonna put that in the front. As you can see, this is a huge clip, so definitely gonna shorten it down. So we're gonna scale it to frame size first. So maybe put it like right here. So you hear it on that beat right here. This is why I like cutting it through. So I know where all the cuts are, they're on beat. So boom, right there. So we're gonna cut that. Let's shrink it a little bit. Because, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to do a little speed ramping. Okay. 
speed duration. Now this is the only time I use speed duration in the timeline is to speed things up. So let's say 400%. Let's see how that looks. A little bit faster. Let's say 600. That looks good. Now I'm going off topic a little bit. I'm going to add an effect. So I'm going to put additive dissolve. So we get that flash look. You know, not so boring of a transition from the B roll to performance. Let's see, right here, make it quick. There we go. Just something simple. Maybe shrink that back and try it again. Yeah, it's playing slow. Boom. In real playback, I promise it would look better. It's acting really slow right now. So that's about it. And then you just chop it up. Like I said, pick out the scenes you want. And then just add B-roll throughout it then color grade well actually before color grade add hd bars and then color grade color grade is always the last step because i mean that will take you know some uh, processing power on your computer and it'll slow it down so you want to color grade last but sometimes i like to color grade first before i even chop up clips just to get the exposure right if i didn't do it right in camera but i recommend always getting the exposure right in camera you want to do everything in camera as best as possible because don't be that guy that says oh, I'll do it in post no it never really works out as great as it would if you did it when you were shooting so that's it now we're gonna go to export so control M or command M on Mac then go preset I would hit 4k YouTube export which is you know 3840 by 2160 and then I have it rendered at maximum depth depth <laughs> my bad and uh, a two pass and then the bit rate would be 40 and that will give you crispy footage for YouTube and you'll be good to go I just want to thank everyone for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe you know what to do you know it's same old thing if you want to see more of this content comment what you want to see next I'd really appreciate it y'all have a great day and keep creating